Hello everyone, welcome to Salt, a small game created as part of Indie Speedrun, a 48 hour game jam contest held by The Escapist. This game was created by Wormwood Studios, the people behind an adventure game you may have heard of called Primordia, and also features the talents of Ben Chandler, an incredibly talented person who is very active in the adventure game community. The description for this game is simply this, a short adventure game set in the aftermath of a shipwreck in Antarctica. Links to where you can play this, as well as the other games from the Indie Speedrun, will be in the description. Okay, there are, only two few, there are only two more things to mention before I actually get into the game. Number one, oh my god, this is beautiful. I think I am going to faint. Look, look at this. Just look at it. This is some of the best pixel art I have ever seen in my life. And look at the snow blowing. Even the snow looks amazing. Dear God, this is seriously one of the best looking games I've ever seen. Just wow. Like my breath is taken away by how good this looks. This is amazing. Okay, the other thing to mention is that included with the game is a PDF of a letter, which I will display on the screen right now. So let's read this letter. 22nd of December, 1903. Dearest Helena, my love, by the time the Royal Mail ship makes her way from Port Adelaide to London, by the time your soft hands hold this letter, a new year will be long since begun, and I will be at the very bottom of the world. I shall long for you that day, as I long for you now. I know what pain my absence brings. I know you cannot understand the hunger that drives me to leave your side. But my love, I swear to you, this grand adventure shall be the last. By the time you read this, I will have drunk life to the lees. My hungry heart will be satisfied, and I will need journey no more. We shall be together again, and shall not be parted. Until my return, I remain sincerely, passionately, your devoted surgeon errant, Stephen. All right, so that is a letter from, I assume, Stephen, which I believe is that person, to his wife. Okay, here we go. Helena. Helena. Let me hear your voice once more, my love. What? Helena? Damnation. All I want is to sleep. Stop. Stop. And here we go. God, this place looks... just... horrible. How long has it been since the shipwreck? How can he even survive here? It looks inhospitable. Alright, let's take a look around. Salt barrel. Is for preserving. Let's look at myself. I've long since I've long since given up trying to wake myself from this nightmare. Haggard, frostbitten, half animal. It is time for me to rest. I don't know about that. Something tells me if you go to sleep, it might be the last time you ever go to sleep. Fire. It's dead and cold. Must find the source of that infernal racket. Yeah, what is that noise? Almost sounds like Morse code, maybe. Fire axe. I must find the source of that infernal racket. Okay, uh, let's go below deck. Oh, here we go. Is that Morse code? Somehow, the ship's wireless telegraph is still receiving communications. Until I can silence it, I'll have no rest or peace. Unfortunately, it is protected by a cage that Captain Taylor ordered, uh, ordered built to keep meddlers away from the equipment. Freaking cage. 
It's locked in place and screwed onto the desk at the corners. Clock. The frost and salt spray caused it to stop long ago. In any event, what does time matter now? The door to the dock deck. No offense, Stephen, but wouldn't you want to know what it says? What's being communicated? It's beyond my reach. The breach here. Frosty air blows in through the breach. I welcome the cold. It sounds like Stephen's already accepted his death. He's given up. He just wants to sleep. The eternal sleep, I think. Right, do I have anything? No, I have nothing on me. I don't believe there's anything else in this room, so I think I need to go find something. Oh, wait, drawer. My scalpel and my last linen bandage. Okay, that'll come in handy. The last of my linen bandages. It's mostly clean. Oh, I don't remember how to pronounce that name. If you could... Oh, damn it, I missed it. I didn't read it in time and it won't come up again. Aw. My trusted scalpel. Maybe it could be used to unscrew it? The screw heads are covered in frost. I can't get the blade in. Okay, so I need to heat it up. Let's go back out. Probably need to start a fire then. Fire axe. That seems excessive. <laughs> a fire axe, as if one were necessary. Ooh, lighter. It looks like a lighter. It's like a two pixel hotspot. <laughs> a flint lighter. And some books. They're pointless. Captain Taylor's log. My journal and treatises. In short, nothings. As for preserving. Mm hmm. This can serve some less horrid purpose. No, I don't care to. Alright, let's go back there and heat up the screws. Oh, wait a minute, that's not... That's radio antenna. It's riveted into place. Does, does that say eye lighter? <laughs> what? Lieutenant Fairholm's lighter which has long outlasted the good lieutenant. Okay, well, let's use my eye lighter <laughs> with the screws. A breeze keeps extinguishing my flame. Ah, I see. Let's use the bandage on that. Cover it up. No, no, not, not that. The breach has been caulked. Okay. Try that again. The lighter is not warm enough. There must be some way to quicken the reaction. Hmm. I have no idea how this would work, but maybe the salt? To what purpose? Okay, I didn't think so. I had no idea how that would work, and I guess it wouldn't. Quicken the reaction. Oh, well, duh. <laughs> so, I've made ice cream before using salt and ice cubes. What am I thinking? Pour the salt on the ice. Perhaps some salt will help melt the frost. There we go. The conjunction of flame and salt has melted the frost. Let's take it off. It's locked in place. Oh, I guess I need to do the other corners. Or what?
Oh, I didn't unscrew it. I just, uh, I just used the lighter on it to. So oh my god, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Corrosion must have fused the screw in place, and all my work has gotten me is a broken scalpel and a slashed palm. Oh shit. Alright, bandage up your palm. I've wrapped the wound. I can use my hand now, and that is all that matters. Alright. This infernal racket won't stop. Is it time for the axe? This may serve. Yes, it is time for the axe. We are going to shut this thing up. Which seems like a terrible idea, because I think you should figure out what message is being sent, but let's do it. Apparently the cage is stronger than I am. It seems I will need to get the key from Captain Taylor. Okay, where is Captain Taylor? Where is Captain Taylor? Where exactly would I get the key? Maybe I can extend this breach? To what purpose? Never mind. But it's a terrible idea. I don't get it. Where am I, where am I going to get this key? Well, it can't be in here, I guess. So where could it be out here? Can I just, can I just like shear this thing off? Even corroded, the metal holds. Yeah, <sighs> stupid thing. Fine, let's let's hatch it. Everything. Perhaps this will serve as a lever. Um, what? Oh. Oh, there's a person in there. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Here's the key. Use I key with cage. Why is everything an I something? No, it deserves something more dramatic. Yes, it does. Here you go. Quiet now. Is he going back to sleep? That is not a good idea. I'm coming home, Helena. Only let me hear your voice one last time. All that you held most dear, you will leave behind you. And you will come to learn how bitter as salt is the bread of exile. Dante, Parad... whatever that is, Paradiso, Paradiso? And there you go.
well. That was... Oh, the game just shut off. That's awkward. <laughs> now it's suddenly silent. That was pretty damn good. So let, let me just start with, um... As, as I usually do, let me just start with the things I didn't like so I can end with the things I did. The things I didn't like is that it has some of that typical kind of absurd adventure game stuff where you kind of pixel hunting, like the lighter, for example. Luckily, I found the lighter, but it seriously was like like six pixels on the screen. It was so small. I don't like pixel hunting. So I definitely didn't care for that. And I'm not sure how you were supposed to know to use the axe on the salt barrel. That How were you supposed to know the body was in there? Did I miss something or what? That was a bit strange. Th thankfully, I figured it out pretty quickly because there's just very little items in the environment to interact with. So using the adventure game logic of using everything on everything, it's pretty easy to figure out what to do. But still, I, I wish it was less fiddly with the typical sort of kind of annoying adventure game puzzles. I just wish it had less of that. But, um, that was relatively minor, it wasn't that big of a deal. And it's far overshadowed by the good stuff. The high points of this game are very high. It has very good audio. There's not much audio, but what is there is good. Just the, I mean, just the atmospheric, um, sound of the blasting wind and snow is enough. The writing is very good. And the art, as I mentioned at the beginning, is incredible. The art is ridiculously good looking. So in the end, that was a really good game. I liked it. Just a very small little story about one man and his attempt, and I suppose failure, to get home. Very sad story. Okay, well, I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Salt.